we just wrapped it up with an interesting debacle between Drill and Hermes. And the ladies were shooting daggers at, at some point, Darling and Rose. And I'd love to know your thoughts about it because you sort of became the a bit of the, the center of all this, this, this conversation. Uh, Drill came to you in some regards. This conversation was had. Hermes says she didn't do it. But where was your stand in all of this? Okay, um, I, it's working, okay. I think the day that the whole thing happened in the evening and then she said she was crying, mm. I was behind Joe. So I really don't have much to say about that. But about the food issue, um, <laughs> so we were supposed to cook in the afternoon, as she said, and ideally, uh, it came with the, the menu thing. It's, mm -hmm. it's a rule that was attached that if there's a meal that's supposed to be prepared, you are supposed to do just that. You don't have to do something else. All right. So you are supposed to wait. Again, Seleki was even sick. We were told to wait because we hadn't made lunch. And we were actually on that. Mm. And then the whole Delki situation came in and she was given food and all of that. So I think it is Delki that did not explain to her that if you take that plate, you are not getting another one because mm. that's lunch. And then maybe the whole thing was messed up. But after I was explained to her that, oh, if you take that advice, then it means you're taking your food, da 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 She was all angry about it, saying that that food looks like it's for one person, but it's with your boyfriend, and I served for both of you. Mm. So I even said that, okay, if that is the case, then when I'm done serving everybody, and there's some left, I said that. I'm not even going to lie. I would give you, and okay. I did give you, yes. and I even gave you extra sausages, so I don't know this whole thing with the food situation and all of that. Plus, if you come and meet a group of people talking and you have a problem, I think you should have a problem with everybody there. You don't just mention some names mm. and then put everything on them. It's very unfair, but that's what happened and okay. you can't change it, so. Darling, uh, you and Rosie had a different kind of date this week where the, the focal point was who you invited and who you didn't. Uh, describe what led to you selecting your boyfriend and Tessie and leaving out what would be the third member of the group and his lady, Jay, Chris, and her mates. <laughs> Darling? Oh, no, no. You have the mic. He who has the mic starts off first, eh? Major, hey, please, the question again. <laughs> what led to you choosing who you chose and leaving out those that you did? I didn't choose anybody. Oh, you didn't? Yes. Um, Who chose for you? Nobody chose. Mm. Joe and Jason are partners. Mm. And so and that was why Tessie. we invited them. Okay. Tessie, she's a normal friend to us. Okay. And she's like a sister. Okay. So we saw the need to, to invite, invite her. her. Yeah. But you chose not to invite J. Chris and Hermes? We didn't choose. You just invited. You, ju you just did. You, you didn't. You didn't plan on it. Same way you feel, Rosie. Yeah, it wasn't planned. Okay, so. Jacobs and Hermes. Did you feel that you were sidelined on that one? Hermes. I literally did not care. <laughs> oh, you didn't. <laughs> no, whether they did, um, they invited me or not, I did not care. To me. When I had my date tonight, the only reason I invited them was because I wanted him to be happy. Now, when he's with the boys, he's happy. Mm -hmm. So whether the boys like me or whether the girls don't like me, it, is, it, it doesn't do me nothing. As long as I'm with Jerry, I'm happy. So mm -hmm. he is somebody that makes me happy. I don't care for other people. But then at the end of the day, they are his friends. So he felt like he did not care at some point, but I was like, oh, okay, so... These people are there, but then we are not there. It's like it is what it is at the end of the day. Okay. So uh, uh, last week, when we when we wrapped up the show, uh, you, and I asked you about who you thought your friends were, you said at that point in time, everyone was your friend. Yeah. Is that the same way you think now? Yeah, everyone is my friend except Rose. What has Rose done to delete her from the possible friendship list? Because she's fake to everybody. She fakes in camera. Oh. Yes. I can give so many reasons why. Do, do, do help us out. 
One, the main one I'll put the boys in, and I'm very sorry. Darlene, Rose does not like you. She did not want you in this house. Why? Because the very day Afia was to leave the house, Rose told me on the Friday night that there was a plan that was going to go on for Darlene to leave and for Jason to give his flower to Afia or for Afia to give her flower to Jason. Now, this was something that was going to go on. <laughs> and that is what Rose told me. Mm. Now, if the boys are going to say that they didn't, um, is a lie, then that is on them. Also, she has said stuff like the clothes that Darlene wears do not belong to her, that they are just given to her, and she knows that they are not even her size, and she wears them. She has also said that she does not see what goes on with Jason and Darlene for them to even be here and she also had something negative to say the day Jason planned the day tonight to apologize to Darlene she said they are probably just doing this to keep their viewers up because Jason probably thinks that his oh, views wow. has come down oh, wow. she said she made that statement wow. there are so many other okay. stuff that she has said about literally every housemate she said Darlene, she, this is what she said. She said, in every show, there's a pet. Darlene and Doki are PM extra pets, is what she said. Oh. Yes, is okay. what she said. She also said that Martin wait, wait, hold on. talks to. So she, she's been telling you all this? Yes, when we were close, she had a whole when lot of close. things to say about literally every single person she said martin talks too much this was something she said on comma she said martin talks too much i even complimented his fashion sense and said he actually dressed good and she made the statement the two pieces being wearing that is the the look good is what she said she also said oh. outside the house martin does not look like somebody that would ever go for somebody like tessie oh wow she made that statement hold on now there I is mean a lot of things she said about Jason, she has said about um, Droy and Jessica, she has spoken about literally everybody. Even before Seleki Se went, she also said something and said, the man talks too much. So Her she man has, talks too much. That Mr. Lecky talks too much and he thinks he's funny. Wait. So you, on the other hand, is like, she says things and then she comes on camera and then tries to laugh with the same people that you literally talk about and call them your best friend or your sister, whereby you are being fake on camera. Wow. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot. But why are you saying it now? No, because I kept saying that I'm somebody that, when you tell me stuff, is in here. But from the way she's acting all of a sudden, it makes no sense. And even the day we had the fashion show, she has something to even say about, um, I think they modeled again. The judges made them model again. Mm -hmm. And she got pissed that the judges made the two of them model again and said that Darlene did not sew her clothes. She did nothing. Wow. And Jason, um, his, the concept or whatever does not even go with nothing. So why would they make them model again? Jerry was there. Drew was there. If Drew lies, then that is on him. Jerry was there. And then she said that if they are to make them win, she wouldn't understand. When Martin and Tessie won, she told us, Jerry, if I'm lying, she said that we are the original winners. And also with the statement that she made about if you are leaving, Drew, Jason, and Jerry all know about it. So if they are going to lie, then that is on them. But she has said so many things, so many things. But then you come, and then you're acting fake, and then laughing with the same people. The very day that Kwame left, she said Kwame is a character. But then he being on the show is good. Because at the end of the day, then bringing Jessica back was of no need. And then she made this statement that Jessica is just coming into the house because she does not make Droid, apparently, um, every Friday night or something, Droid is like a prisoner. He doesn't dance with nobody. She holds on him and stuff. <laughs> so she has said so many wow. things. And I can wow. I, I ask Jessica, the day she came into the house, I didn't know Jessica. So then I asked Jessica this question, and I was like, oh, so you are the one that um, doesn't allow Droid you are the one that doesn't allow Droid to dance or anything. And then um, she said, when? And then I was like, oh, okay, then that is it. Wow. So she has spoken about literally every single person in here. But then you see them, and there's a whole different kind of person. 
Wow. Well, I was going to survive. I've, I've locked. <laughs> Wait. Rosie. Wow. Je <laughs> Jessica, Tessie, Darling, um, all the gentlemen, even Kwame, it would seem you've had a lot to say about all of them. And even Drill. And even Drill. Oh. To her maze. <laughs> is it? Uh, my thing is, Every weekend we come here for a purpose, right? And if someone has said something about someone, there's a video that would show and they talk about it. We either squash it or at least we all know about it. So I don't know where this whole book opening is coming from, but it's a bit weird to me. And <laughs> some of the things that she's saying, I've not heard them before about um, Jessica, about Joy being a prisoner to, I don't know what, what she's talking about, most of them. But then again, there are some things that I would say mm -hmm. that I feel like I am human and it is okay to say them. Such as? Um, for instance, if someone does something and it is weird to me, I would say it is weird to me. Okay. But I don't get why you are... She says, she, she so, said, she so says... That, so there's some, some truth to what her is saying? Yes, I'm not even going to lie. She said them in the closet room. She said them on Friday night. Oh. She said them um, when we go outside to have the games. She said okay. them. She said them in the bathroom. Okay. So the thing is that she will say it when there is music. And Evan, she said oh. that Darlene does not know when to stop because on Friday nights when the boys are probably hanging out, she always wants to be with Jason. And I was standing close to her and she's like, why does this girl not know when to stop? Uh, that instead of her to come here, it's like all the time, you no. just want to be with the boy. Wow. And then that is why the guy is probably tired of you. The funny she thing is, everything she's saying now, Darlene is aware. I have told her to her face that if you go for the parties, let Jason be. Let him hang out with his friends or whatever it is. So mm. she said, she says, she's Did aware. Did you tell her about it? So you shouting. Yes. Did you tell her about it? Yes, and she okay. knows. So okay. what's the point in making noise? Calm down. Darling. I'm sorry, but I know. <laughs> so you do okay so you do know some of these things and you have no problem with it because your friendship is stronger than anything that may have been said I think so wow okay now